handling ambiguous grammar so ambiguous grammar is nothing but if we have uh, more than one parse tree for a given grammar it is called as an ambiguous grammar so uh, here ambiguous grammar how to handle the ambiguous grammar is nothing but uh, for any uh, production if we have shift and reduce at the same time which we need to use so how to handle that is been uh, given here handling ambiguous grammar in lr parser can be used to parse ambiguous grammars okay we lr parsers are used to parse ambiguous grammars lr parser resolves the conflicts shift reduce or reduce reduce in parsing table of ambiguous grammars based on certain rules that is precedence and associativity of operators of the grammar okay so here let's take the following ambiguous grammar that is uh, example e tends to e plus e e tends to e star e and e tends to id uh, so let's assume the precedence and associativity of the operators plus and star of the grammar are as follows so plus and star both are left associative and precedence of star is higher than the precedence of plus so here by using lr0 we are considering this data flow diagram uh, so data flow diagram we you know you understood like how we need to draw the data flow diagram first we need to take the augmented production that is e dash tends to dot e uh, sorry e dash tends to e then you need to place the canonical items of lr0 items that is nothing but we need to place dot on the right hand side starting of the right hand side production then the given production which changes in this way that is e dash tends to dot e e tends to dot e plus e e tends to dot e star e e tends to dot id so this i am writing as state i not so now we need to do the transformations on the particular symbols so i not on symbol e i not on symbol e it becomes as e dash tends to e dot okay so all are on e only so in this state also we have e so wherever e is there we are doing the transformations so it this becomes as e tends to e dot plus e and this becomes as e tends to e dot star e okay so this i am naming as state i1 next so here in this i not state still we have id so i not on symbol id so it changes as e tends to id dot so this i am naming as state i2 now i1 so i1 on symbol again here this is been completed so here we have after dot we have plus here so i1 on symbol plus so it becomes as e tends to e dot this dot should be shifted here that is e plus dot e so after dot we have a non terminal so all the productions of the non terminal should be written here that is all the productions of e so what are all the productions of e e tends to dot e plus e e tends to dot e star e e tends to dot id so that all are been written here this is named as state i3 okay now so i3 now i3 and after that this plus is been completed and after here in i1 we have star again here so i1 on star it becomes it changes as e tends to e star dot e e tends to e star dot e after dot we have a non terminal here you need to write all the productions of this non terminal that is e tends to dot e plus e e tends to dot e star e e tends to dot id so these all productions we need to write here and this i am naming as state i4 okay and now so this i1 state is been completely done and i2 is been completely done now coming to i3 so in i3 we have here e so i3 on state e it changes as e tends to e plus e dot e plus e dot okay and next this one e tends to e this dot is been shifted here e dot plus e e tends to e dot plus e next this one e tends to this dot is shifted here e dot star e e tends to e dot star e this i am naming as state i5 okay now next coming to state i4 so state i4 uh, here we have 
so i4 on state capital e so it changes as e tends to e star e dot next this changes as e tends to e dot plus e this changes as e tends to e dot star e so this i am naming as state i6 next uh, i4 on symbol star i4 on symbol star how so how it becomes i4 on symbol star how it becomes e tends to e star dot e okay so e tends to e star dot e already that is there in state i4 either you can draw a self loop or write it uh, and write the same state i4 next uh, on plus on plus if we do on plus how it becomes e tends to e plus dot e so it is already there e plus dot e is already there in state i3 so that i am writing and writing the same state as i3 next if you perform this on id id also should be shifted no so it becomes as e tends to id dot so it is already there in state i2 so either you can draw a self either you can draw a transition there or write that and write the same state i2 so this i4 state is been completely done next coming to state i5 so in i5 state this is done and next this one so it changes on state what plus on state plus so it changes as e tends to e plus dot e a e plus dot e it is already there e plus dot e it is already there in state i3 either you can draw a transformations to i3 or write that and write the same state i3 so this is been done next is on star so i5 on star so it becomes as e tends to e star dot e e star dot e so it is called it uh, this is already there in state i4 so i am writing as the same state i4 so i5 state is completely been done next coming to state i6 so in state i6 we have this is done and this one on plus so on plus if you do what it becomes e tends to e plus dot e e tends to e plus dot e is already there in state i3 so i am writing i3 on plus and next on star on star it becomes as e tends to e star dot e so it is already there in state i4 e tends to e star dot e so that i am writing i4 okay so this i6 state also is been completely done so we have performed all the transformations until the dot is placed to the end of all the symbols to the right side symbols until the dot is placed at the end you need to do all these transformations and next and then you need to draw the parsing table for drawing the parsing table we need to do shift operation and reduce operation there so shift if one state is been shifted to other state then you can use shift if that state is not moving to any other where we need to use reduce so in order to use the reduce for the given productions in the question just name that question with the respective uh, numbers that is e tends to e plus e this will be named as 1 and e tends to e star e this will be written as 2 and e tends to id this will be written as 3 and they will be written respectively as reduce 1 reduce 2 and reduce 3 that is nothing but r1 r2 and r3 now you need to draw the parsing table so check now uh, these are the states and these are all the terminals and non-terminals which we use here uh, that is uh, you know here no these are uh, uh, shift we need to write here and these are the go to this is action and this is go to so these are all action so in action we need to consider only the terminals till here these are the terminals and this is go to and in go to you need we are going to use only the non terminals okay so now uh, let's do the parsing table i not on id i not on id so i not on id what we have i2 that is shift 2 i not on id you need to write as shift 2 and i not still it is not moving anywhere and i not on capital e i not on capital e it is moving to state 
i1 so just write the number there 1 so how we draw this parsing table like how we draw this parsing table it is already explained in the previous lr parser so you can check this and that procedure should be followed here so check this one i5 on state plus i5 i5 see i5 on state plus i5 on state plus what we have here uh, i5 on state plus we have uh, shift and reduce see here i3 we have here that is it is it has been moved to state i3 as well as this state is the end state that is e tends to e plus e dot that means e tends to e plus e dot is nothing but r1 so both shift 3 and reduce 1 are there so shift 3 and reduce 1 both are there so in the same way we are getting the conflict here this is called a shift reduce conflict so here also you can check i5 on state i5 on symbol star i5 on symbol star it is moving to state i4 that is shift 4 and here it is being stopped that it becomes as e tends to e star e dot so e tends to e star e is in reduce 2 so here also we have the conflict what conflict shift and reduce that is shift 4 reduce 2 shift 4 uh, reduce to conflict we have here so to resolve this conflict what you need to do both we need to take so for parsing the input string once you need to parse the input string by using shift and again you need to parse the input string by using reduce so take stack input and action so input i'm taking as id plus id dollar now check here stack and uh, write zero in the stack and now zero on id so so 0 on id what we have shift 2 0 on id shift this symbol we are shifting id 2 so id 2 is being shifted here id 2 is being shifted here so this is being cancelled here the remaining what we have plus id dollar so id 2 sorry 2 on plus so 2 on plus what we have reduce 3 so reduce 3 in uh, reduce 3 what production we have e tends to id so in place of this id in place of this id we need to write e the number also we need to write no so how we should write the number check this previous number with this non terminal or terminal so 0 on capital e 0 on capital e what we have 1 so 0 on capital e what we have 1 so write the number 1 now check the action again 1 on plus so 1 on plus what we have 1 on plus shift 3 1 on plus you need to write shift 3 what we are shifting here this plus we are shifting here this plus we are shifting here so we wrote shift plus 3 so this plus 3 is being shifted here dollar zero e1 along with this this plus 3 is been shifted here now check the action 3 on id 3 on id 3 on id what we have 5 so 3 on id 3 on id 3 on id we have shift 2 3 on id we have shift 2 so right shift what we need to shift here this id this id should be shifted here so id 2 okay now here in input everything has been completed so only dollar goes on here so now the action no 2 on dollar 2 on dollar reduce 3 2 on dollar right reduce 3 the production is e tends to id okay uh, so now in place of this id you need to replace with e now the number how we need to write check this 3 on e 3 on e it is 5 so write the number 5 now check the action 5 on dollar so 5 on dollar we have reduce 1 so reduce 1 what we have e tends to e plus e so in place of this e and e we are replacing it with e so the number e on e sorry 0 on e 0 on e 1 0 on e write 1 here now check the action 1 on dollar 1 on dollar accept so write write accept here 
clear so in this way we need to uh, check this ambiguous grammar handling ambiguous grammar if we have shift and reduce uh, for the same symbol then uh, in while parsing the input string once you need to handle with shift and once you need to handle with uh, reduce so generally the parser generator tool yak resolves the conflicts due to ambiguous grammar as follows uh, shift reduce conflict in the parsing table is resolved by giving priority to shift move over the reduce move so if we have a shift reduce conflict uh, then what you need to do first we need to give the priority to the shift then reduce you need to give the priority show first to shift if the string is accepted for shift move then reduce move is removed otherwise shift move is removed so if the string is accepted by using the shift move then the reduce move we will remove if not we are going to use the reduce move also in reduce reduce conflict uh, in the parsing table is resolved by giving priority to the first reduce move if there is a reduce reduce conflict we need to give uh, priority to the first reduce move over the second reduce move if the string is accepted for the first reduce move then the second reduce move is removed otherwise the first move is removed this is how we handle the ambiguous grammar